I'm Roger with Wheel Kinetics. This is, truck is going to be for sale. It is a 2003 F250 Crew Cab uh, 6.0 turbo diesel. It is four wheel drive. Um, it's an XLT. It has uh, 102,000 miles. Um, it is uh, theft recovery. We purchased directly from an insurance company. Uh, it is not wrecked, but it does have a salvage title due to theft. The insurance companies don't want liability. They've already lost a fortune paying to this person and then selling it. Uh, getting sued because somebody finds out that Allstate or State Farm or whatever used to own this vehicle. And instead of being their fault for not hitting the brakes, it's Allstate's fault for selling them the car and blah, blah, blah. So they just throw it under the bus. Uh, absolutely not wrecked. It's got a dent on the pass on the driver fender and a couple little tiny dents that I didn't even notice until I was really looking really close. That's it. We tried to find a silver fender, a used silver fender, and we couldn't find one. Um, but that is it. Other than that, man, this truck is really sweet. Um, what else do we need to know? It's got some pretty wheels. Kind of like little nicks in them, but they look pretty good. Uh, see the pictures. We have really high resolution pictures. We have probably 200 pictures. Uh, the the tires are very high tread. They've got to have 20, well, at least 20, 000, probably 30 or 40 thousand miles left on them. Um, the molding on these is famous for fading, and this one has a break in the molding. I don't know what happened there, but. Uh, but uh, it's weird. It's like some at some places they use the wrong paint mixture or something. Not really sure. Uh, there's your block heater, which is kind of nice if it's going to go to cold weather. Doesn't really apply here in Arizona. Got a little push in right here, but as you can see down below, looks like you probably just take your hands and pull it down, but anyway, there's that. There's this wheel. There's your tread here. It's a really nice truck to drive. There's your faded molding. You could actually tape that off and buy a can of uh, touch-up paint in a, in a spray can from Ford for like $30. Tape that off and spray it. It'll be fine. There's the rear tires. A little bit lower tread, but still at least 60 or 70 percent tread. I just noticed this when I was walking around. It's got like a little push-in right there. bumper has your typical towing. That's where the guy backs into the hitch on the trailer every time he backs up. See, that would be your trailer hitch hitting the, <laughs> hitting the bumper. And there's a fifth wheel hitch sitting right there, which is nice to see. Let's see. I think I saw something right here. Right behind us, like someone pushed in right there, but you have your opinion. Looks like it's pushed in just right, right underneath that sticker. There's the driver rear wheel. Tires. Just a really pretty truck. Let me show you the roof real quick. There you go. Let's open the hood real quick and look underneath the hood. Like it's from uh, Steve Curry Ford in Payson, Arizona. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's your Ford sticker, your Ford stamp for your fenders, right, right there. These are the factory original fenders. The pictures, the high resolution pictures that we have online are really spectacular and uh, make it crystal clear that. This truck is very pretty, aside from that little fender right there. Looks like someone probably just backed into it. Something tall, obviously. All right, let's see. Interior. Back seat looks like it's never been lived in. Um, I mean, there's literally nothing 
on the back seat. No stains, nothing at all. Kind of creepy. Um, as usual, the uh, car thieves steal the light bulbs and the lens covers for both of the dome lights so that they can scurry away. Look at that carpet. <laughs> Brand new. I would say that, I, I, I would really say that nobody ever spent time in the back seat at all. Here's your door panel. The only issues with the interior are the, it's got this little hole type of thing right here. I'm not really sure what that is because it doesn't look like a burn. It looks like super glue got on it. So does that. Let's see. Got a little bit of a tear here. And you got a tear right there. Um, otherwise, looks really good. And no, there is no smoke smell in here. I don't know what those are from. <laughs> but it does not smell like smoke. And it's freshly detailed, so I'm putting this down here because it's a little damp in my precious bottom. <laughs> Would get a little damp. Even though it's uh, 90 degrees and probably being damp is probably the least of my concerns. Yeah, yeah it's March 31st. It's about 2.15 in the afternoon and it's 90. I don't know. They're saying it's 80-something. No. no. As a native Tucsonan, I can tell you that is incorrect. So, get the keys out here. Fire this bad boy up. Wait for the start. Okay. Here's your radio, you got a changer. Just a nice truck, really nice truck. Let's see. There's your miles, 102688. This truck's been running for about two hours. We always leave them running for a couple hours before I take them out for pictures and videos. And then we drive them and uh, make sure everything's doing great. And This thing is just absolutely smooth and nice. I would say uh, it had a very, very good previous owner. There's your toe on, toe off. Let's see. Let's put it into neutral. Four low. Four low. There's four low. Put it in gear. Forward. Yeah, I can definitely feel we are in four-wheel drive. There's your reverse. Let's see. And we go to four high. High right there. The low is off. Put it in drive. Got forward and reverse. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to two wheel drive. There's that. All right. We also have a tilt wheel level level lever level lever here that works. Let's see. There's the window passenger. That's the passenger. Let's see. Passenger front. Passenger rear. Driver rear. I mean driver front, sorry. Driver rear. There you go. Alright. And I've got about 10 minutes to do this whole video, so time to go. Down to eight and a half minutes. Anyhow, yeah, this is a this is a real pleasure to drive this car. I'm very, very excited about this car. Truck. It's uh it runs spectacularly well. Um, I'm on a, as you can see, this is real construction type thing, very bumpy road, and uh, even though it's a F-250, it's got a great ride. Um, uh, stiff suspension that they have and all. This thing really, very smooth. Air is blown ice cold. Uh, I would take this right now to I-10 and drive as far east as it goes and then turn around and drive it right back with something big behind me and heavy this thing is a nice truck guys anyway please check us out um, it'll be a very fair price um, don't wait too long uh, they tend to we've had a few people shut out by by their while they're waiting for us to come down in price and and our price is fair at the very beginning so please take advantage of it thank you